All right, howdy everybody. Uh, I am back with uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon. <laughs> yeah, wait, no. Like a Dragon, colon, Gaiden, colon, the man who erased his name. Uh, we're back in, uh, we're explorer. we're back in Osaka with Kiryu, and we are picking up where we left off last time. I did, uh, shortly after the last time I, uh, played this game, uh, I did, I did finish some stuff up. We've got a few requests around here, but I think they were mostly, hang on. Yeah, stuff like, it's mostly stuff like taking pictures or handing people food and stuff like that. Most of the fighting requests and the other, most of the fighting requests and like the, like, uh, some of the, some of the other ones, I've, um, I've basically, most of those I've basically taken care of already, because I wanted to, oh, I also wanted to, uh, I also wanted to do, I, want, I wanted to do the karaoke one on stream, so I haven't touched this one yet, but... If you look at the top right here, we've got a good amount of money and a good amount of Akame points. Weirdly enough, Akame points are needed for to upgrade to a certain extent some of your abilities. It's a little um, um, it's a little weird that there's two currencies for it, if you ask me. But I thought this was like you could pick one or the other, but you actually need both. I think. Um, hang on. Oh no. Extreme heat mode undying. There was... This. I wanted to increase the equipable gear. Yeah, so you can't you can't do this unless you have the money. Like, both the money and the uh, Akame points. So you can't really, like... You can't just, like, do one or the other. Which I thought was a little strange. Uh, but yeah, I upgraded the uh, the network a little bit. Like, we're at level 9 now, so we've got more options for investment. Um, and we've also got... Uh, we've also got more um, side quests. I think the request list here is basically the... Uh, are basically our sub-stories. And that's kind of how... It's it's all in one... It's all in one thing. It's kind of... It's kind of reminiscent of... This game, what it feels like to me is that it's actually kind of like a spiritual successor to Judgment and Lost Judgment, it feels like. I think they could... There was some kerfuffle I think the studio, the the original developer, had with the... With the, the main actor. Because the guy who plays... Uh, the guy who plays um, the main character in Judgment and Lost Judgment is an actual, like, famous, like, actor. He acts in TV and movies. He's not, uh, he's not like, a video game mocap guy, primarily. So, as a result... We're probably just gonna... I'm gonna try to practice. Okay. But there was mainly a thing where it was, like... There's mainly a thing where, like, he... I think he was busy, or he... There was some issue, and they couldn't get him for another game, at least in any reasonable amount of time. So, they needed a... But, but they also... It seems like they want to do both... They want to maintain both, like, gameplay styles that, yeah, that Like a Dragon picked up. So, they've got one for... They got one for this, which is just physically fighting dudes with, like, your... Like, in, a, in, like, in like an open-world beat-em-up kind of thing. And then they've got, uh, Like a Dragon... They've got Yakuza, colon, Like a Dragon. And later, they're going to have, uh, Infinite Wealth. And those are turn-based, like, RPGs in the style of, like, Dragon Quest. Hang on. I wanna... One day, I wanna see if I can do... One day, I wanna see if I can do, like, a whole, like, long combo to one of these guys. Cause like uh, there was like that whole that that whole thing where you can like yoink someone. So you dodge. You have to you have to hold you have to hold down that to dodge. If you hold right. If you hold if you hold uh, circle, you can pull someone. That sort of thing. Well, we'll figure it out next time I get into a fight. I've kind of got it down. We'll see. Um, but, uh, basically, they, uh, they, they, there's two different gameplay styles that Yakuza has now, like, officially, so they, I think they wanted to make a game in each style every once in a while, so they couldn't do Judgment, uh, anytime soon, so instead they made this game, and this game also seems to borrow other gameplay mechanics from Judgment, and I think the, because the, the way the, the way everything's labeled out in the Akame Network, like this, 
is that this reminds me of the this reminds me of like the job the job like board you would have in judgment where all of your all of your side cases and all of your uh, requests from um, the bar were all listed out like that so you just go to one central location and get pointed to a direction anyway oh well hello senior hearts content for a thousand yen thinking of trying some karaoke today sure Thanks a bunch. Machine's over there. Feel free to have at it. Alright, there's a new song, apparently. <laughs> We're singing alone. Karaoke time. Let's fucking go. There's Bakamitai. There's a bunch of these. Wow. Okay, this is the one that the guy requested. You can adjust the... Pitch? I think no. <laughs> oh boy. Stay. <laughs> the song's pretty intense so far. Let's a bit more involved than they usually are. Not very good at this taking hold of my concentration. Oh my god. Oh no! Nope. This is so sad. <laughs> I'm pressing the wrong button. 100% FC failed to the sad. The full combo's dead, boys. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> There's Santa. <laughs> Fucking Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh god. 59. That's top 100. I'll take it. Not as good as Jason or Ah! Matsushita at congrats on marriage. What the fuck? <laughs> There's a woman on this one. Okay, I think Bakamitai and Like a Butterfly. I recognize those. I haven't seen these middle ones. Let's 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 do it. Let's do one for the road. <laughs> just just to get just to just to just to, just to dip our toes in a little bit. Oh, didn't see your message before. Thing, I appreciate the compliment on the suit. <laughs> oh, no. oh. <laughs> Hang on. Can we? No. It's already too late to redo it. Oh, God. I 
口べたでほんまに不器用なのになのにどうしてさよならは言えたのダメだねダメよダメなのよあんたが好きで I too miss <laughs> the pro racer guy. We're in heat mode. This sad is real hot. <laughs> I find it funny that he swapped the photo to a pocket racer, pocket circuit fighter. He just doesn't, the, he's not worried about the orphanage anymore. <laughs> he's so sad. <laughs> it was, uh, in the older versions of, uh, Bakamitai, he would, uh... Check out how hard I can cry. <laughs> Fucking yeah, essence so sad. <laughs> no, but it was like, um... It used to be it used to be the 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 Morning Glory Orphanage. Instead, it was uh, instead it's Pocket Circuit Fighter now. What's he up to? What where has he been? Who knows? I think last seen he was in. Uh... I seen he was in uh, Otomichi, and like uh, he um. I don't remember what the specific place was called, but it was like, uh... It was like, he had a whole side quest because he's, uh... He got married and had a kid, which is pretty cool, um, because his, um... Because his, uh, his whole side, his whole sub-quest and his whole sub-story in... When you originally saw him in Yakuza 0 was about him being really sad that he didn't have a girlfriend. And then, like, next time you see him way later, he's, like, an older dude. Still in the same outfit. He's married and has a kid, and his kid's learning English and all that. And then you have to help him because his uh, his marriage is kind of killing him a little bit. And he, uh... And then it's just... It's just kind of funny. <laughs> because he's still around. And he's still wearing the fucking headband. <laughs> The whole crowd of suspicious men here. Such a solid uppercut. <laughs> Alright, we need to go... We need to go check out something nice at the cigarette store. Yoink. You got a minute? I'm Joryu. Mizorogi told me to come see you. Huh. Yes, I just spoke with him, actually, so I know all about you. Mm. Great. He said if I came to see you, you'd have something useful for me. Mm. That's right, but when, whether or not it's actually useful will depend on how you use it. Mm. <laughs> I'm starting to get the impression you're no ordinary lady selling cigarettes. <laughs> you don't say, but wouldn't it be best for both of us to not ask too many questions? Uh. Now, here's what I have for you. Yeah. It's a wrinkly pack of cigarettes. Mm. Huh. First time I've been surprised to get smokes at a smoke shop. Oh, don't you worry, honey. These aren't your standard cigarettes. They're furiously flaming fireworks. Mm. Furiously, f furiously flaming? <laughs> wow, disrespectful. Huh. And would you look at that? A perfect target to test them out on. <laughs> I can't stand boneheads who litter in front of my shop. Are we about to kill this guy? Is there- is there like a poison dart in these or something? Uh. 
That thing is beeping. <laughs> now watch closely. At a glance, it looks just like an ordinary cigarette, but it's much more. Why is it beeping? <laughs> I don't even need to light it. All I have to do is toss it at that nasty y little Yakuza litter bug and... Is it's a missile? Oh my god! <laughs> it's a Looney Tunes Acme firework! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> That's quite the cigarette. Doesn't seem that powerful though. Like a mini bomb kind of. <laughs> No, they're furiously flaming fireworks. Well, whatever you call them, they don't seem like something to toss out casually in the middle of town. Uh, people just explode in this town sometimes. That's why I rarely give them out, but since Ms. Oroki couldn't send you, I'm making an exception. A weaponized cigarette gadget. Firefly. That's what I call it. Hell yeah. You can now use the Firefly. The Firefly can be strengthened with money and Akame points in the pause menu's upgrade screen. Doing so will bring you even greater advantages in battle. Got it. Since you went through the trouble, I'll gratefully accept. How much will they cost me? Oh, they're Mizoroki's couldn't, couldn't street deer. He seems to be head over heels for you, so save your thanks for him. I love the no, like, littering cigarettes apron she's got. <laughs> seems like that's all I needed to do. It's late enough into the night by this point. I should head back to Akami's place and get ready to go to the castle. No idea what kind of place this is or what might be waiting for me there. I'd better prepare as best as I can beforehand. We're not going to get jumped by like a gang of dudes so we can test out the cigarette live yet. I guess not. All right. Usually there's always like there usually there's always some immediate like excuse fight right after you pick up something new in in, the, in this game or like uh like someone is just just randomly is about to get assassinated right when you learn a new technique. Okay, so how does this how does this work? F Firefly hold that's you, you hold it. Oh, it takes a while. Okay. <laughs> I, yeah, I can work with that. Oop! Did not mean to do that. No. Oh well. You smoke them, they will come. Oh. It does knock them off their feet. That is enough. That is enough to cause damage. When I hear mini bomb, I think of like a cherry bomb. That looked like that looked like an actual explosive. It was a little scary. Hang on, one more fight. Let's like, is there great abilities? I have not invested in the individual styles that much at all. We should probably spend some of my massive funds. Not that massive, but some of my funds on it. I can shoot multiple wires. Uh oh. Sticky threads. Pilfering with heavy hands writes about stealing enemy weapons with a bundo kasari, a chain that with weights at each end. Oh, it's like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've seen those. Looks like I can use this with a spider gadget. Felt more like a smoke and flash being bombed in the cutscene and a concussion grenade in the game. That is a good comparison, yeah. That, yeah, that sounds about right. And on a high note, describes the aesthetics of throwing techniques. I could use this to give myself an extra push when taking out stronger foes. From ultimate counter with circle, press circle. Okay. Aw, oh, that's only in extreme heat mode? Dude. This is a finishing hold is like a classic when you're playing when you're using like in the in like the the remakes and so and in most of the Yakuza games when Kiryu's in like his normal fighting mode uh, dra like Dragon of Dojima style he does this thing where he has because like normally he has two finishers right like you you press square 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 and then triangle triangle and those are your two finishers if, in, if instead of doing triangle triangle if you do triangle circle instead kiryu fucking grapples the guy and like snaps his back or something like that now that's a that's a cool move should try to use that sometime i really hang on let's let's take a look at that isn't there... I remember seeing, like, uh, a thing that I think uses the Firefly, and it was in... Stalling this will decrease standby time and increase the number of bombs that can be ignited in a row by one. Oh, interesting. There's options here. I like them. 
See what we can unlock. What was it? Can we? Yeah. We activate extreme heat mode. It looks like this. That, yeah, yeah, like that. <laughs> Look at that. Fucking grab some pipe the leg and spins him in a circle. <laughs> that, that's a new one, but I remember he had one where he would... I remember he had one where Kiryu would, like, his first finisher, he would deck someone in the, like, the head so hard that their whole, like, imagine this, their whole torso goes backwards and they get knocked off their feet a bit, right? So they're, like, flying backwards, like, head first, and then Kiryu grabs their, like, grabs their ankle while they're flying backwards, like throws their legs over his shoulders so that they are like their back is on his shoulders and then he do and then he fucking breaks their back <laughs> as the second finisher <laughs> i remember seeing that and you could like you could do this fucked up thing that if you're fighting someone who is tough enough you could like combo them into each other i saw someone do it on a video i don't know how you're supposed to do that like how you pull that off but watching someone do it just looked nasty <laughs> Like, fucking, this guy's stuck in a b vortex of breaking bones and he can't escape. Fucking have mercy on him. Ooh, we're back. Uh, let's check out the common network. Yeah, we're up to... She gave me 4400k for leveling her up four times, alright. If we invest... Better items, more Akami points. That seems like a winner, because I need those to level up. This is already done. Increased drop rate from down enemies by 5%. 5% fewer Akami points needed to enhance your abilities. Let's do this one and this one. I just want to... I just want to punch people. <laughs> I want to learn new and fun ways to punch people. Let's do... Let's see what these red keep peacocks are about. Mm. What's this? Unlock. The red peacocks are a gang that started, throw, that started throwing their weight around Sotenbori lately. There are three main gangs of Sotenbori, this area included, but these days the disputes between them have gotten worse. They're a real headache for the general public. Mm. Among them, the red peacocks... <laughs> Are a particularly violent bunch, attacking passerby who happen to piss them off, destroying property, real low lives in every sense of the word. I'm up to my eyeballs and requests related to them. All I keep hearing is do something about a Makame Chan. <laughs> they do sound like a problem. <sighs> Chan or Chan? <laughs> I'd go and take care of them myself, but it's not exactly easy, there being so many. <laughs> but handling this would be a cakewalk for you, right? You'd be rewarded quite handsomely. I'm not too thrilled about this, but we can't just let this slide. Especially if they're hurting innocent people. Where are they? In the parking lot in West Shofukacho. Sh I should see a guy. I should see a bunch of guys in red track suits. Red track suits. <laughs> Thanks a bunch, Joryu. Yeah. Got it. We got some. We got some track suit gamers out there. Better take care of them. Gotta help out the spider girl. Uh, where are they? Over there. Got it. The tracksuits are back. They never left, as it turns out. <laughs> what this guy on the right one? Oh, yep. He wanted a snack bar. This is what you wanted, right? One Hokkaido Azuki bar? Oh, that's the ticket. I'll gr I'll gladly take it off your hands. Thanks. If you need anything else, ask for a woman called Akame. She looks out for the homeless in this area. Yada yada. There we go. Who knew giving a candy bar helped you enroll him in a criminal information network? The more you know, it's that easy. And preach to him, like. I don't see a single tracksuit here. I see two puffy red jackets, a sweater, a bandana, and a, a regular casual street jacket. I don't see a single tracksuit here. Good. Hey, you guys the red peacocks? Mm. 
Eh? What do you want, old man? There have been complaints about your conduct around here. I'm here to suggest that you act more courteous. <laughs> <laughs> you came here just to warn us? You're even dumber than you look, old man. You got a death wish or something? Yeah, yeah, 0% tracksuit. Not a single 0% of the screen right now is tracksuit, and that's upsetting me. <laughs> if we're bothering people, then why don't you try and stop us? These men are fools. <laughs> This guy, like, wire vulnerable? No. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I forgot how to do the fucking the the dodge. <laughs> hang on, how do you hang on, let me let me let me double check something. Uh battle, where's the counter powerful enemy attacks? Okay, okay, okay. Lock on dodge right before it hits. Off you go, buddy. Okay, it's three hits. That that that's the launcher. Hang on. This guy's annoying. He's like a boxer, so he keeps like. Nope. <laughs> anyway, um, he like uh, he he he's like a, he like actually dodges my hits and then counters, which is annoying. I want to just sit there and take it so that I could beat the shit out of him. Uh, who who the hell are you? Yeah, I don't have a name. And even if I did, what makes you think you deserve to hear it? Oh, this isn't over. We'll make sure you regret messing with the red peacocks. You have no idea how many of us are out there. You haven't accomplished jack shit. Looks like there are more red pe <laughs> I love it when Kiryu just restates exactly what he just heard. Looks like there are more red peacocks out there. I should look around for them. This is this like a whole thing? Oh, we've got... We've got multiple gangs of youths to take out. Alright. First of all... Let's get a burger. No, the wild... The wild special burger. That's what I need. Give me the double decker. Itadakimasu. I'm burning a lot of calories today. Oh yeah. I want their leader to be in a like a giant pink fur like feather coat or something like that. I don't have any money. <laughs> Where am I gonna get more money? I want a triple finisher. Jesus Christ. What's the countdown? Oh, okay. Breaker, while surrounded by enemies, literally any, any button. <laughs> Flexing resolute counter. Press and hold triangle while being hit. Yep. Knock back. It's triangle after getting hit while guarding with you. Yeah. Ooh, I need to save up 3 million yen. I need, I need, I need tiger drop. I need tiger drop. I do tend to forget this if I don't use it. <laughs> That's really funny. Because Kyrie needs to like rebuy tiger drop every single fucking game. 
Oh wait, hang on. Sorry, we've got more gear actually, because we just uh, we just unlocked that. So we've got the bulletproof vest, which means we do have defense against bullets. We have defense against blades. Holy fuck. Alright, um... I want... I really want stun resistance. That, that's, that, that works for me. Uh, actually, hmm. The rusted chainmail lets me hit harder. I might go for that. Good. Hey, you guys write peacocks too? Eh? Okay, the guy on the left's got a tracksuit. We got one at least. You, you're that son of a bitch without a name. Yeah, we know what you did to our buddies. We're gonna fucking kill you. Damn, no, no hesitation. Hang on. Damn, that just works. <laughs> Hang on. Getting a little clumsy here. Hang on. Are you guys just gonna stand there? Hang on. Let's get down here, because I want to toss someone into the river. There's the only purpose to being in Osaka in the Yakuza series is to toss people into the river. Alright, get over here. Come on. Yes! Yes! Off you go. <laughs> God. <laughs> Dude, this game feels good. Holy shit. <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> shit, he's tough. Seems like there are still red peacocks causing trouble out there. Let's see. I'll see if I can find them. Yeah, I guess that would probably dissuade me from doing uh, general nefarious deeds. Is if I uh, if someone just walked up to me and said, "Hey, you know, literally every other guy in our in our group, one dude just plowed through the entire town and beat everyone up." <laughs> just fucking. I don't know if he's gonna come for us, but I don't want to. I don't wanna be part of this this whole this this gang thing anymore. <laughs> it would dissuade me at least. I'd get scared. kill you. Got it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
think you have to switch styles immediately after you launch someone because it doesn't like. Oh, you can. You actually can. You link them. Christ. Hang on, let's let's eat something in case this kills me. <laughs> Just chug a bunch of orange juice while this guy spools up his kick. <laughs> oh, he missed. Didn't expect that one. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> One more group. I was kind of expecting a bit more, I don't know, intrigue. We're just kind of going through and plowing through a bunch of guys. It's a good warm-up, at least. Gets me back in the gets me back in the game, but Jesus. See you later, fellas. Boy. Doesn't seem to be much to it. Yeah, it's an extermination mission, Jesus. I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just airing out the city, you know how it is. Can blast me back, alright. Why is the guy with ripped jeans along with a giant health bar? It looks like a. Doesn't look like he'd be particularly punchy. There's a lot of blood coming out of this guy. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> That's how you do it. I was in the middle of an animation when he pulled that one out. Wow, he's really feeling himself after getting his fucking ass beat. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I need to be, like, a bit more precise with my taps in this game, I think, because I keep just mashing square and then pressing triangle whenever I feel like it. Because I know the the specific heavy attack I want to do is that you it's it's square 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 so three light hits and then a heavy and then that's the knock up in, into the air. Their leader Gurren is apparently looking for you. Mm -hmm. For me, he's been storming around town saying, "Who's this piece of shit coward who's been beating up my guys?" Where it is, he's at a parking lot in South, south Sh Shofukucho now. Will you go check things out? Uh. Parking lot in South. Sh I can't see that. <laughs> I, I just can't read that. Hang on, sorry, buddy. Gonna have to eliminate you, sir. <laughs> I'm the peacock sleeve. Let's get some food first, because I'm getting my ass beat out here. Kill on sight. Whenever I see a paragraph, I just don't even read it. Honestly, I should probably set like a like a word count limit or something like that. I feel like that would be useful. Probably set it to like 20. I don't know. Oh, it's a smile burger. Say no more. 
Get the legend smile set. It's not enough. This man's so hungry. What are the sides to that? That's a good amount of food. They've got coleslaw and everything. Yosh. Let's go. Alright, uh, where their leader is over there. Got it. Show Fukacho, show Fukacho, show Fukacho. Does that say sexy pub prison? That sounds awful. <laughs> that was like too much going on at the same time. Who's in, the, who's in the cells? Is it me? Balls, now that you mention it, I think I've seen some around area lately. Yep, that looks like a unique character model. Can be sexy in one other thing, yeah. <laughs> Show yourself, you piece of shit coward. Good. Looking for me? Oh god, rock music? Huh? Well, well, you decided to come to me. How kind of you to travel all this way. You've been treating my guy so nice, I figure it's only right I can repay the kindness. Yeah. Your words are more than enough. I beg to differ. I can't have you fucking around with the Red Peacocks. Ah. I, the one and only Gurren, president of the Red Peacocks, am gonna put you in the ground right here and now. Oh, with your, your gang of boyfriends, I see. There's only one, like, AoE thing I've got, and it's the cigarette, which kind of sucks. This first name's Akira? That's kind of funny. I'm like not holding. I'm not like I'm like not holding R1 so my gameplay looks a little weird. Hang on. Fucking punch this guy real quick. There we go. God that looks so that, that feels so good. Just Oh, he's fast, Jesus. <laughs> you see him teleport? Holy shit. Presser. Jesus. There's actually, like, no animation for him coming up to you. It's kind of insane. <laughs> Nutriment of the Conquering Empire. That's the whole thing? That's the whole thing in combat? That's insane. <laughs> he's just there. He just fucking, he, sp he breaks sp space time to just instantly close the distance between you and him. He crunches the universe. <laughs> God. We'll get it one day. We'll get it one day. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. It's so hard, Jesus. Okay, I need that timing is difficult. I hate it when a character does that. Like they completely whip an attack and instantly dodge your attack, your your counter. It's like no, he fucked up. Let me get him. Only I'm allowed to do that. There we go. <laughs> Fuck you, idiot. Fuck you. <laughs> It took, it's the cone. That's, that's what did it. That was his weakness. <laughs> Accidentally grabbed one mid combo and just ended him with it. Damn, that's a pile of men. <laughs> who, who the fuck are you? His, he's, is that Saint GG on his collarbone? <laughs> no, you got it right the first time, Kurt. The cone was all we needed. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I hope this teaches you a lesson. Give up your ways. I've beat up every man dressed in red in the town. <laughs> Probably caught some, some innocence in the crossfire, but it's taken care yeah. of. Akame. I took down the leader of the red peacocks. I guess this takes care of that. No kidding? Oh, I knew you'd come through, Joyu. <laughs> Everything's funny. you so happy. Thanks a bunch. That's it. Alright. That was a lot less, I don't know, spicy than I was expecting. Usually usually when you get a, a sub-story, it's like a whole thing. I don't know, you guys know. Vanquished. Whatever, we got cash. That's what I needed. We got cash. We can we can upgrade things. Uh Maybe we should, maybe, we probably won't get Tiger Drop for a while, because it's gonna, right now at the amounts of money that we're getting, it's probably gonna be a minute, and I'd rather have other things that are of of more utility. We can increase the damage, we can increase the damage on ultimate counter, that's fucking nuts. Given that literally everyone seems to have an ultimate move, that would be handy. I do want the I do want the roll dodge. That's pretty useful, especially for because one thing in this game is that like blocking's directional. So if you get around an enemy and behind them, that's a good spot to attack them from. So usually the roll like one dodge will get you a little bit to the side, which doesn't quite work. But the roll usually gets you all the way around. Um. Dude, we have to go to Kani. What, what's it called again? We have to go to Kani Duraku. We, j we simply, we simply must. <laughs> I need to get that crab dinner. It's the entire point of going to Osaka. God, I fucking love that ad, the dude just fucking chugging a pint while emerging from a pint. Like you're peering into some beer dimension. Yeah, this is a, I think I labeled one of the, oh my god, there's a thing at the tip of the crab. Nutriment of the Conquering Emperor. Hell yeah. Alright, Crab Town, Japan. Let's go. Today's special? Ooh. <laughs> How much crab can we consume in one playthrough? He was eating that? Well, it's fucking mine now. I have more use for it than he does. He is not currently alive. So if anyone between the two of us needs food... <laughs> Needs an energy drink for a conquering emperor. It's me. Revenge books. Yo, you guys want to get some revenge books? Are these books flaming with vengeance? Who 
wronged the book? Did someone did someone burn its book family? There's a whole crowd of men chasing me right now. <laughs> Alright, let's get to the castle. I think that's like a that's an important area, and I think there's gonna be a lot of stuff down there that we're probably gonna need to take a look at. We might be able to get some money through some mini games. That's my that's my suspicion. Let's go. Akame. Okay. Yeah. I don't see this woman do anything besides sit and smoke in her own house. Nanda. I fear nothing. It's a consistent problem in my life. It gets me into situations I really shouldn't be in. Oh, we're going, like, far. Why does Akame have and know how to pilot a helicopter? Oh, no, she's not piloting it. <laughs> but why does she have a helicopter? Who'd she hire? There's <laughs> a lot more hardcore than I was expecting. I thought it was going to be like another underground thing. Oh, this is from the trailer. Yep. <laughs> Oh god, someone save her, she's drowning. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> the fucking laser beam eyeballs on the Oni statue. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is this like all gambling? How can someone afford this? Oh, it's the Omi Alliance. Christ. Oh,あの、I thought all of the Omi, I thought all the Omi's work was dirty work. <laughs> Oh man, I'm, uh, I'm not moving much on my screen. I think my, um, I think the software I use for my model soft crashing, hang on. Uh, well, we'll fix it after the cutscene. So you got it, eh? Mukashiwa, Kain say no coke you could have to cut, so that I get a mitsua more and Kedo. The particularly perverse. What? Oh, that's not what that's okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, that's not... That's not consensual fun whipping. That's actually... That's actual slavery. Oh, okay. I see how it is. That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> せやから景気の悪い時ほど補充に困らんみたいやわ。で、さらにもっと派手なんが見たいお客さんにはあれや。闘技場か。ローマの昔から客を沸かすのは流血の殺し合いっちゅうわけ。せやけど夢もあるん
ボクシングの元世界チャンピオンやら伝説の格闘家に幻の殺し屋妖艶金メダリストそんな連中に VIP が大金を張り合うから選手の稼ぎもでかいんや I have a basic understanding of what this place is, but why did Suruno send me here? Akame, Koko no Shikiri wa Kijin Kai te itte tana. Watasegumi wa nani mo kan de nai no ka? Watasegumi? Mochi kan don de? Asoko no Tokyo jo wa mai ban, eventa o Omi no kumi ga mochi mari de yatte ru ya. De, nanto konya wa Kigu ni mo sono Watasegumi no ban ya ne. Nanda to? Jou ryu ga mota sarete ta rei no Akatora na. あれは闘技場出場のチケットなんや力さえあったらなんぼでも稼げる夢のリングへの特急券ゴールデンチケットとリングオブドリームズ裏社会に持っていくと結構な値がつくんやで Now that she mentions it, those thugs who jumped me wanted this badly I guess they were planning to sell it somewhere うちの役目はそれを持った人をキャッスルの闘技場へ案内すること裏社会でも絶大の信頼がないとできんこんなん任されてんの大阪ではうちだけやお前なんでもっと早くそれを言わなかっただって上流赤虎の意味知らんかったやろ普通はみんな喜んでくるんやけどなもし闘技場はイヤイヤーってごねられたらうちの責任やねんけどもうここまで来たら船出られへんしいやなってくれたな The actual real Coliseum. It wouldn't be the first time Kiryu's been in a Coliseum, to be totally honest. I, there's, they've done this several times throughout this series where they'll introduce a, uh, they'll introduce an area with just a ton of gambling and like live fighting, and just a bunch of other little things. And it's always in some, it's always some ridiculously opulent place somewhere way out of the way. It's been a it's been a multiple times feature in different forms throughout the series. So you could go. No, Jolie. Maybe you think you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Maybe 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 you know what I'm and I'll make sure he regrets all this. I'm gonna dismantle his Colosseum with my bare hands. <laughs> Akami's like sick. <laughs> Dodge the scary man. Hmm? <laughs> God, it's like she's my daughter. Kiryu's like in his 50s at this point, isn't he? Something like that. Akami's gotta be like in her 20s or something. Uh, one... Oh, it was literally just the cutscene that was fucking me up, alright. I'm gonna eat his mental fence and punch his loyal gal. <laughs> okay, okay, hang on. Okay, so everything's fine. Everything's fine when we look down at like this, right? But there are so many lighting effects going on in this area that when I tilt the game the camera up. Does the actual game look okay on on actually like does the actual game like look okay on stream? Because my, my model is uh, struggling here. Jesus Christ, it's Blackjack himself. He doesn't look very happy to be here. <laughs> I don't know what that says. Yo. Gold plate. Cool. Try not to look up too much, I guess, is what I what I should do here. You guys want to play some blackjack? This is absurd. <laughs> There's a few details from stream noise, but it's good enough. Alright. I was me I was more worried about the frame rate. That's like the main thing I get concerned about when it comes to streams, just cause like it's one thing I notice a lot when something's not smooth, uh, with my eyeballs. 
But yeah, that's the main thing. My only real, like, my main, my main measure in, uh, my main measure whenever I'm, like, watching my own streams is whether or not I am enjoying what's happening on there, because I guess that's, like, as good, that's, that's as good as any, so it's, like, uh, I usually just go, I usually just try to, I try to, I try to, try to worry, that's the main thing I worry about, is like what the, uh, what, how the frame rate's doing. High stakes blackjack, high stakes poker. This is lower stakes, low stakes poker. What kind of poker? Is it like Texas Hold'em? Uh. Display menu, use item. I actually went to a poker night not too long ago. Check for now. Yeah, this is this is Texas Hold'em, all right. Let's see what we got. <laughs> this is no. Yeah, I had nothing. Here's you don't have enough chips. Please come back once you require more. Cool. <laughs> you need a minimum of 10 chips. That's kind of 100 chips. That's kind of wacky. How much does it require? 10? Oh, hell yeah. It's always Hold'em and, and Blackjack. I feel like every... Is that, like, consistent with casinos? It's always Hold'em, Blackjack, and the fucking roulette. That's always... Those are, the, those are always the ones you see. Now let's just get rid of the rest of these. Looking good, boys. We're gonna stay. Yeah, we're gonna stand. Do not hit me under any circumstances. 17? If he gets a 4, I'm gonna shit myself. Okay. <laughs> Alright, he has to stand on 17, right? My coworkers introduced me to this good, better, best version of poker. Really? Double me up, boy. Hell yeah! Alright, we're poor again. <laughs> Gotta love it. That's poker. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Get me away from these. Get me away from the cards and the bunny yes, women. It's a bad environment for me. What uh? What do they have here? Bloody binding. Holy fuck! Look at those stats. Jesus. Binding covered in bloodstains, long dried, reeks of deranged, unstable malice. <laughs> we can we can get a fucking cool striker pocket circuit fighter pocket circuit fucking thing. And we get a rose, which I think is for giving to to to, to women. Hostesses, I'm assuming. A ROM of Quartet, a Master System game. Okay. Arigatou One thing Yakuza Like a Dragon did, which I was a little mixed on, is that they locked like the best equipment in the game to um like uh the best equipment in the game behind like these these items you would get, and you had to do the different mini games or pay like a shit ton of money in order to get them. Oh my god. It's basically a five card draw for two hands, the best and better hand, and then three more cards that have another kind of hand. Oh, okay. Weird. Never done that one. What the hell is this? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oichokabu? I do not know how to play that. Alright. This is... This is... I get it. It's like it's like it's like Eastern gambling and Western gambling. Okay. Super weird. I don't quite get it yet. Yeah, it sounds a little weird, but don't hate it. It's kind of it's kind of fun to have some variety. Cabaret club. Cab We're not going in there. What? Mm, mm, mm. How how awkward do you guys want this stream to get? Because I don't know how to act. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to act if we're doing a hostess thing and I'm on stream, like, because if I get into it... I'm just not sure if that'll be fun. <laughs> if I don't get into it, I also don't think that'll be very fun. 
I'm just obliterating all the- Someone just left a seaweed onigiri on this, like, marble railing in this insanely expensive fucking boat casino. What's going on? Oh, she's got a little- she's got a little breather. Okay. I was like, I was like, how long are they stuck in there? Fucking, are they okay? Actually, no, I don't want to do this. Never mind. <laughs> Boutique castle. Not a place I can go to. The castle's locked to me. I'm simply not ready for fashion. Jesus Christ, the decor. Okay, there we go. Fuck, it's man. <laughs> Maskless man. <laughs> that would be extremely fun if I worked at like a like a cabaret club and I saw a guy walk in, just have like a moment of like <laughs> Just have a moment of, like, communication with the divine in his head, and then just turned around and left for brighter pastures. Kosei Shishido, Watase family lieutenant. I'm sure cabaret clubs are good fun, but it's like, uh, I'd rather not. I don't think I'd go to one with, like, a friend, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm awkward enough on my own. Definitely don't want an audience. I love how weirdly roundabout the Yakuza are in this game, this game series. It's always just like, hey, if you don't want to get, if you don't want your buddy to get killed, you need to go to Osaka, link up with this one person, get over to, get over to this fucking boat in the middle of the ocean, because there's a coliseum, and for some reason we want you to fight in the coliseum. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Maybe the dragon of Dojima in the cage is just good money for them. Nishitani the third. God, he looks like an asshole. The plot demands its blood price. <laughs> If this plot was easy and simple to explain, that's a horrible smile. <laughs> Omare Nishitani the Third, Kijin Clan Patriarch. But yeah, if you can if you can explain a Yakuza plot in like three sentences, there's no way. It's just it's simply not good enough. <laughs> It's not the game I want. Oh, we're buddies. I sma I mashed his face into the pavement, and now we're best buds. That's me. If I'm not punching someone, I have no idea what's going on. ガルフェキフォーユーカメ様。出場の資格はお持ちでなるほど。おめでとうございます。大きな登録に are we still pretending the glasses actually do something? <laughs> we can't wear a mask or something? What the fuck? Dude, I hate this place's decor. Everything's so extra. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> I fight for love. 
Only the most romantic takedowns in this coliseum. <laughs> Dude, we should do the whole thing. We should go out there shirtless and like a speedo with that mask on. Oh my god, we're just... No. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> yeah, he got any other masks? This one just isn't doing it for me. Of course, we have a selection of others to choose from. Would you like to peruse them? Yeah, show me what you got. Certainly, just a moment, please. My apologies for the wait. Please take a look. Hmm, I'm a little torn here. We'll keep it. We'll keep it on for the content. We'll keep it on for the content, just cause I think if I got beaten by a guy like this who was wearing a mask like this, and he didn't even he didn't even like that he was wearing the mask, that would probably kill me a little on the inside. If I like had any amount of pride in my fighting skill. All right, I can't I can't change my outfit to something a bit more appropriate. Height. So if I went out in like a like a bedazzled speedo, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? Like that would that would fit. Maybe oil myself up. <laughs> Make sure I glisten in the under the under the light of the lantern. Five deaths so far tonight, Christ. He was pretty chill about the whole thing. I'm surprised it's just a bunch of dudes in normal clothes. Oh god, bare toes? No. <laughs> nah. I'm not a feet streamer, no. I'm not like this. Or free. <laughs> Twitch look away. Don't fucking save your innocence. Wait, that's the that's the guy. That's not him. That's a fucking body double. <laughs> That's not him. There's no fucking- No, his face is wrong. And Yakuza, Yakuza does its faces good. There's no way. Man, that confetti's really fucking my computer up. Jesus. Right in the temple. You fucking defend yourself. Oh god. Hello, I'm here to look fabulous. This music? Already? <laughs> Masaru Watase-ish, man. Oh, he can juggle you. Alright, got it. Okay, I, I gotta be careful. It's 
got a powerful aura. Wow, he recovered from that well. we go. <laughs> Winner. Look at me. Don't I look fabulous? I beat him with the power of love. Do I own the Omi Alliance now? I beat the Patriarch, right? Now I'm interested. <laughs> oh my god, we're doing a fucking, we're doing a run back. Oh no. Turn back the clock. Nishiki? <laughs> Nishiki was Kiryu's best friend who like took over the to the Tojo clan and then went a little nuts with power and then Kiryu had to uh Oh my god and Kiryu had to Kiryu had to fight him and ended up ending him I think. Yeah, this is that's from Yakuza 1 or the remake of Yakuza 1. And now we're on the other side. I don't think I close. <laughs> He definitely didn't use a gun, though. <laughs> Kazuma Kiryu esque, man. Man, I have goons. This almost never happens. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot he had a gun. <laughs> he doesn't fight like this. <laughs> oh wait, hang on, is this his fucking... Oh, is this like his fighting style from, uh, from Ishin? That's a long one. <laughs> just gonna, just gonna take one of those real quick. <laughs> it's for the crowd. I'm just, I'm bodging it a little bit to make the fight interesting. I'm fucking, I'm fucking this whole up, this whole thing up. There we go. Cosma Kiryu. <laughs> I just saw that. Cosma Kiryu-yaint. <laughs> That's not how it happened. Oh, wait, I'm misremembering things. Hang on. Did Watase die in the first game? Was that what happened? I must... Or did I miss... I mistook him for... Hang on. Watase... I need to... I need to double-check something. This is really important. This is really important. Someone died at the start of Yakuza 1, and that kick-started a whole bunch of stuff. 
right, 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 Watase was uh, leader of the Omi Alliance, and last we saw him in Yakuza Like a Dragon, he was, uh, they were announcing the dissolution of the Omi Alliance, and he was, uh, a whole bunch of dudes were attacking him. He was the guy we were protecting, and then Kiryu shows up to bodyguard him, which is, I think, chronologically after what we're seeing right now. Oh, I got this guy's got like two women and one guy in makeup attending to him. Just, you know, equal opportunity to slavishly clean his toes. He's back in the suit. He's back in the suit. <laughs> Oh my god, it's Goda. <laughs> was this Yakuza 2? I think it was. It's a shame we're not getting into Yakuza 3. It would have been funny if they brought out a guy and then went, yeah, this guy's totally with the CIA. <laughs> oh my good god. Damn, this is crazy. He just looks right in that suit. Look, there it is! <laughs> Damn, did he get the right tattoo and everything? That's crazy. That's dedication to the role. Ryuji Koda question mark? Fighting these bosses like it's Dark Souls, just going for the roll every time. Yep. How the fuck did he hit me there? There we go. Uh? We about to do we about to do pull-ups. Oh, are we fighting two tigers now? Is that is that the plan? Maybe I should have maybe I should have got the maybe I should have picked up the tiger drop. <laughs> It is supposed to drop tigers. Sugar and creep. You guys are psychopaths. Okay, I see how it is. This is animal cruelty. This is just mean. Don't let PETA watch this stream. <laughs> this is not how tigers fight. <laughs> Oh god, I thought this was gonna be W- I have a stupid ass joke on my head. I thought this was gonna be the WWE, not the WWF. <laughs> oh my god, can I resolute counter a tiger paw? 
Well, that happened. <laughs> hey there, can you come down here? I was told to kill everyone in this ring, so... Off you go! Ooh! Oh, I, f I did not expect a prompt there. I did not- I forgot that this was what this fucking act- this event was. Oh my god. The humanity, Jesus. Here you donated 400,000 yen to a tiger sanctuary. That's like no money. <laughs> That's like, that's like, a, that's like a couple hundred bucks. I, it's something. It's never mind. That's that's a that's a solid that's a solid amount for one person. Man. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man, I'm looking fabulous. We're doing great, everybody. Damn. That's a fun retrospective. Almost like he's someone Again? What the hell do they possibly need to do his hands right now? <laughs> really working out those nails. I guess they didn't put the, the fucking, what is it, the gloss on it? There's like another, like you put the paint on, then you put another layer over it to protect it, right? Why does everyone have a stupid chair? Yeah, clear coat, right? To make sure the paint doesn't like immediately scrape off. I don't really, I don't paint my nails, but uh, I had a, a friend put a sticker on one of my, put, my, a friend of mine had a, like a banana sticker, like a banana fingernail sticker, and uh, they, uh, they stuck it on my, my fingernail and put the little, like, clear coat on it, so it stuck around for a while. It was kind of nice. Not the sort of thing I usually do, but it was, it was nice. I had fun like showing it to people, and I did that thing where you like you like have your hand and your wrist up, and like your fingers are draping down. <laughs> I don't know how to like I can't I can't do it I can't show it to you guys right now, but it was it was funny doing that and seeing people go. Ugh. <laughs> Not used to you making that motion. <laughs> Is this a tragic backstory from local thug? Russian roulette <laughs> with two people. いつ命を握りつぶされてもおかしいない。<laughs> 
<笑>こんなん笑って話せるようになったんはやっと最近の話です I'm pretty sure with some of those revolvers you can actually see the bullet from the front so you can kind of tell if, the bullet, if, you, if you're about to die or not. Although I've never played Russian, I've never played Russian roulette, uh, so I, I, maybe, maybe, maybe it's just, uh, maybe that's, maybe that's against the rules. It's not a very sporting thing. シシドという名前は、サガズギンとき、ワタセの親父につけてもらった名前です。クソマミルの過去全部捨てて、生まれ変わるために。I also don't look down the barrel of guns. <laughs> you know, that's fair. That's true. <laughs> キュリュウさん、あんたの過去は。I just mean, like, if you ever got a glance at the cylinder of the revolver from the front, um, like, even if it wasn't, like, uh, pointed at you or something, maybe you'd be able to... Well, I guess the bullet would be, like, in there, so you would have to be looking down the front of the gun. But, like, it would tell you how many more, like, cylinder... how many cylinder spins are in the gun before it hits the bullet. Man, I don't want to do it. What I want to do is just fucking take care of my kids at the orphanage. <laughs> and that's the one thing I'm not allowed to do, apparently. Uh? Uh? Kiri is upset. <laughs> そもそも話す相手を間違えている。俺はキリュウカズマじゃねえ。頑固な押しとやな。それとも大道寺の火付けがよほど身に染み込んどるんか。どうやったらそこまで飼いならされるんです。さっさと花輪の居場所を教えろ
Coliseum is currently being prepped. I'm very sorry, but you'll have to come back later if you want to enter. Okay, it's just not available right now. Got it. Maybe some other time. But yeah, I'm pretty sure, I, like, I think that specific backstory of, like, I grew up in the shit, I had to, I had to deal with all this, I had to deal with this and this and this, and I had to fight when I was, I had to fight before I even learned how to eat, and I had to fucking, like, you know, I, I, I was in so much trouble, and then I learned that this world doesn't respect the weak, it respects the strong, so I decided to become the strongest, and I want to fight you, Cosmo Kiryu, because you're the strongest, and then, like, I wonder how many times, I wonder if, like, every time Kiryu hears that, he's just like, God, I'm the one he's ジュリュもうしたくすんだオッケーキャッスルにはまだ好きな時に来れるからな言うてくれたらすぐヘリ飛ばしたるわ。That's I think I really- I mentioned this in like an earlier- he has met every, Yeah, he's met every sad, angry, strong man in Japan. That is true. <laughs> Hana was being held in a building called Namiki Number no. Three. That's also where Sooner knows lighting, lying in wait. I really appreciate how quick this game is, because usually Yakuza has like, uh, like, like you'll have a you'll have a moment of action, and then a long cutscene explaining some of the plot, and then a little bit more action usually. Like that's kind of the pacing. This game just kind of goes, which I appreciate in comparison. Because it's like, I have fun with them the first time around, but replaying Yakuza games can sometimes get to be a bit of a drag, because, like, it's, uh, because there's just so, there's just so, it just, it's just so long, you know what I mean? Like, uh, like in Yakuza Like a Dragon, the amount of times you return to that one fucking restaurant where, uh, where, where the guy got assassinated at the very start of the game, overpecking duck. <laughs> like, the amount of times you come back there to have a long conversation is just ridiculous. <laughs> The game's still fantastic, and I'm having fun with it. It's just sometimes you'll be in the middle of one of those cutscenes, and you're like, man, this is really dragon. <laughs> like a drag. Oh. <laughs> this must be that Namaki number three Shishido was talking about. Sudano is expecting me. In other words, no need to waste time sneaking around. I'll just march in the front. Actually, let's go. Let's go buy some healing stuff, I guess. Ten octopus balls. I'm ready. <laughs> it's really dragon, yeah. <laughs> One sec. <coughs> Still got a bit of a cough. Yeah, when I said I got a little sick over the break on Twitter, I was not lying. I, get, I did get the flu, I'm pretty sure. It was not it was not the pestilence, because I tested myself, but uh, it was... And it was a little bit worse than a cold, so... Pretty sure it was just like a really malignant flu. Still got a bit of a cough. It's the Mean Mug Squad. Damn, it's go time. Nice of him to say. Oh, that's what I was going to say. How many rusty pipes are there floating around? <laughs> Not even a gun. Blue was bad this year. It's a... Uh, I think there's a bit of a thing going around. Um, basically... I remember last year they had like a they had three different things going around like uh, 
the, the disease, um, the cold, and no, no the disease, the flu, RSV, and the other thing were all kind of spreading around at the same time. I think they made. I think they made the. Uh, I think they made the 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 rag dolls more extreme in this game. You have to punch the doors open now. That's kind of funny. How you doing, Sakuma? <laughs> that one. <laughs> the, the body slam to finish him. <laughs> okay, where, where are we going? Oh my god, he despawned. He's dead. Damn, right I'm the guy that fucked your bro up. Get my steps in while I beat these guys up. Christ, it's a bloodbath out here. Can I get something out of the vending machine? That'd be so funny if I could. <laughs> Just take a break. I have a friend who kind of looks like this guy. Yow. Oh, I okay. Thought I pressed that on time. Thought for sure I had that one. Don't need that. Jesus, these fucking balls recover a lot of health. That was a good call. I'm like imagining the curious fucking. He has the takoyaki like in his suit pocket with like the sauce and everything. Oh. 
I keep holding, I keep holding triangle to try to summon the drones, but I keep doing it while I dodge, which means Kiryu gets stuck in the, uh, the evasive strike, uh, animation instead. Yeah, I has got a lot of fucking health. That's a nice trip. Oh, he finally landed a grab. I was dodging all of them until now. Fuck. I'm about to die. Hang on. <laughs> Just drink this while I'm in the air. <laughs> there we go. I'm just throwing attacks out there, which is probably not the best call. I'm just getting impatient. There you go. <laughs> it's okay. I I bought enough garbage. We're we're all, we're all right. It it makes up for my it makes up for my my lack of skill. I just keep eating pork. <laughs> That'll save me. God! <laughs> Hang on, I need to take care of this guy. No gun for you. Alright, fuckers. Remember, everyone, if someone's shooting a gun at you, just kick him in the face and acquire the gun for yourself. Always works. It's <laughs> <laughs> a long crowbar, holy shit. I was kind of hoping to grab his crowbar from him, but I guess not. Quick with that thing. Took him a while to hit hit with that one, huh? <laughs> right, so these guys hit hard. I'm using up a lot of I'm using up a lot of stuff. Jesus. Should be blocking more. Also, this guy this guy has no startup to his attacks. It's throwing me off. Oh, really? That's, that's a cool animation. Fucking, fucking get out of here. <laughs> Tired of this shit. There's three tough enemies in a row. It's fucking killing me. Cause I can't I can't just like I can't just fuck around with them. I like all of his ammo. He's coming to the magazine. Crazy. This guy knows how to reload? That's nuts. Oh my god. What's so fast in this game? Okay, this is ridiculous. I thought I had 
bullet defense gear. Yeah, that's all I got. Alright. And he doesn't stagger. I don't know about you guys, but if I got gut checked while I was trying to aim a pistol. Are you serious? If I got gut checked while I was trying to aim a pistol, I think it'd throw my aim off a little bit. I don't know about you guys. The Okonomiyaki will save me. He just does it the second I'm up. Jesus. How many bulls do you have in that thing? Christ. <laughs> I guess that's how Yakuza creates, like, challenge in these games. They, like, introduce you to guys that don't stagger and take hits like no tomorrow and can like do like instant attack dodge moves and stuff like that it's it's a little it's a little hard it's a little hard to get used to just because on all the other fights you're just kind of allowed to do whatever the hell you want 64 rounds in a 14 round magazine yeah nourishment of the sea king as long as i've got as long as i'm as long as i've got my nutrients down i should be okay <laughs> Fuck, he's actually here. I was expecting him to lie to us, <laughs> honestly. Oh yeah, you're looking totally fine, dude. Never seen a man take 12 shots to the chest and just jam a seafood pancake into his wounds to fix it. That's the legendary dragon for you. Max power fire? Is that what that says on that can? It's your fault, Kiryu. Why'd you make me beat this man with a hammer every single night for a week? Very cruel of you to force me to do that. Max <laughs> power, but don't say that. It's a torture tool. <laughs> yeah, worry about your own bones, dude. I'm gonna throw an explosive cigarette like right in Hanawa's lap because that's where everyone's around. Ooh. Uh oh. That was a long intro cutscene. Oh, we're not fighting in the building, okay. This is an interesting setup. Yuki Suruno, Watase family captain. He's dual wielding barbecue tools. That's not all what he's holding, but I'm I'm imagining he's holding like a, like a fork and a knife. Hmm. 
Bless me, say King. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> there we go. Now we're playing Yakuza. <laughs> Normally you'd have a QTE for this, but Kiryu is just too good for that. Alright, in classic Yakuza fashion, he is now more dangerous without the weapons. Saying something, buddy? Okay, square triangle, one, two is really quick. Square, square triangle is slow as fuck, noted. Just looks like a guitar report. <laughs> This is the new strategy, boys. Oh, we're stepping on his head. <laughs> Just rubbed his face into the pavement a little bit. Oh, Kiryu's already gone. That's so disrespectful. <laughs> Literally, no one else in your organization likes you. I am the only guy who is willing to help you. They probably would have sent a sniper to take you out or something. Oh, I don't think you'll say shit. He's an old school Yakuza. That's good. Are you guys ready for some exposition? I'm so, I'm so ready. I'm <laughs> まずはっきりさせときて。お前らのバックにいるのは本当に渡瀬なのか。まだそこから疑われとったんですか。用心深いことで。俺は正真正銘渡瀬組の頭や親父からはこう言われてました。I'm pretty sure if you walked up to Kiryu and you asked, he'd probably have done it instead of 
kidnapping his boss. Actually, no. Never mind. No, you wouldn't have. Hmm. I don't know. Sometimes Kiryu is like, I'm over the Yakuza game, and sometimes Kiryu's like, I can't. I can't ignore this. I gotta get back in. Oh, bullshit. Come on. I didn't do it. I just enabled it to be done. Well, <laughs> Kundo,私が聞く番ですが、覚悟してくださいよ、鶴野さん。誰かがあなたを痛めつけても私だって止めません。それでお会いこですもんね。キリュさん、これが正真正銘。あ、you <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't hit you. I just swung my fist around you walked into it. そしたら後の大見連合と登場会この二つを解散させるんですうちの親父と登場会の六代目同時まで何そのためにあんたの力が必要やと親父はそう言うてるどういうことなんです親父が来月出所を控えてるのはご存知で そういう。そのくらいの発でしたね。無償出たら大見の本部で大阪中の組員に迎えられます。そこであの人は警察に当てて大見連合の解散を宣言する。今潜伏中の東場会の幹部たちも来る手はずや。そんで両組織の同時解
Like, I bump into a guy, and the guy's like, oh my god, you broke my arm. It's gonna cost, like, $5,000 to fix, because I don't have insurance. And I'm gonna be like, no. And then 15 men come out of the alleyway, and they're like, we're gonna fight you. <laughs> You're not gonna pay up. We're gonna, we're gonna make you pay up. And I don't have heat action, so I just get the snot beat out of me. I haven't unlocked my I haven't unlocked my special technique yet. <laughs> Fucking Kiryu has two styles. Uh well who was it? Yagami had like three Yagami had two in judgment and three in lost judgment, and I have negative one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Kiryu, Kiryu, Kiryu does. Kiryu sticks with his his oaths. Oh, he's gotta get taken to a government black site. Oh, this guy is in trouble. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, okay. <laughs> no one will ever find him. You get one. You saved my life, so I'll be nice to you one time. <laughs> いちょう聞いておいてもいいですか。うん。さっきの状況では鶴野と組んで私の口を塞ぐことはそう難しくなかった。私のような引っ掛け物が姿を消してもまず表に出ないでしょう。すると私組の提案は決して悪い話ではな
Maybe maybe a little less because I did I did do some side objectives. So probably got like three more streams of this. I think three or four, and then uh, we should be good to go. Um, that, that'll that'll that's pretty that's pretty quick. That's pretty uh, that's pretty sprightly for a um, for a Yakuza game. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. Uh, anyway, hope you guys uh, hope you guys had fun. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the stream and i hope to see you all again pretty soon tomorrow we're doing yakuza like a dragon and i think we're like 70 percent ish of the way through that game so we should be finished with that one fairly soon and um yeah so please look forward to that uh yeah and that'll be that'll be it for the streams this weekend i'm still kind of getting back into the groove of things but i think uh i think streaming is one of those things that i kind of I'm kind of weird. <laughs> I, 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 I kind of talk to myself when I'm on my own, so it's kind of I was I was keeping I was keeping the skills up by talking to myself like a maniac when I was on my own during the break. So uh, it's not not I'm still feeling it to an extent. I'm not too rusty, I think. But yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hope to see you all again soon. I've said that three times already. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. That's the other thing I usually say on these. There we go. Yeah. I don't really have much else to say. Nothing too spicy has happened recently, so I'll uh, I'll just leave it at that. Thank you once again. See you next time. Bye-bye.